Hey the Root Suit family, it's Ryan here, and as you can see, I'm still in my basement and I've got a crack in my foundation. That's right, we got our contractor in and he started taking stuff off the walls and when he pulled down the wood paneling he discovered, ah, there's a really big crack running through the foundation. I have to say, I've learned a lot in the last week and today I'm going to share with you five things I've learned about basements. The first thing you need to know about houses or structures in general, the most dangerous thing is going to be water. Now we were lucky, our basement isn't flooded, in fact there's relatively little evidence of water being in there, but there is still water in our basement and water will always find a way. Second thing about basements, they're not all solid. In fact, I don't have a solid wall foundation, I have a concrete block foundation. And why is that important? Well, with the concrete blocks, they're hollow. Now related to thing number one, water always finds a way in, which means that if there's any kind of cracks or anything going on with the foundation, water will find its way in and it will fall into the holes in the concrete blocks and it will eventually pool in the bottom. Basement thing number three. If you ever take a look at your foundational walls, you will probably find a little white powdery substance. This is called efflorescence. Basically, concrete is very porous. It will allow a fair amount of water to pass through it. As water passes through it, it's gonna bring minerals along with it. And then as that water evaporates off, it leaves the crystal minerals behind. This is normal, this is to be expected, but the first time you see this white chalky substance on your walls, you're thinking, the crap is going on. That's efflorescence. Thing number four. The secret to basements is keeping them dry. The secret to keeping basements dry is to ensure adequate drainage. This means that on the outside of the foundation, there needs to be a good mix of sand and gravel preferably, and very little clay so that any water that is in the ground is able to drain down and away from your building. This also means that you should have your eaves troughs properly set up and all of your downspouts directing the water away from the building. Now that's an ideal situation. Some houses are built where there's large amounts of water in the ground and it's only a matter of time. Water will always find a way in. And when water finds its way in, even if it's tiny little bits of moisture, it can cause a lot of corrosion and it can eat away at wires or it can damage electrical sockets all kinds of things that we found once we started pulling the, the panels off the walls. And now, the fifth thing that I found out about basements. There's a lot of opinions out there. In the process of trying to learn more about my basement and how to fix it, I've talked to three different people and I've gotten almost three entirely different opinions on how to go about fixing my basement and how to move forward. It's, it creates a lot of costs and it becomes really difficult to know who to trust it becomes really challenging to try to figure this stuff out on your own. The only thing I wish at this point is I wish that there was some sort of comprehensive class that I could take that could tell me about all of these things when it comes to being a homeowner. I've learned a lot in this process and I'm very grateful for all of the people who've taken the time to sit down and explain these things to me. And so, hey, if you have anything that you can share with me, let me know down in the comments. I'm sure that we could all benefit from a little bit of collective wisdom. Anyways, thanks for stopping by. I'll make sure to provide an update in the future with anything else that I've learned in the process. But until that time, stay awesome.